made that sound better. Hello, right, well, next time. Okay, here comes another random design. This is a better design. A pretty good design. One that has a crazy lift rating. Well, not that bad, actually. R3. I did R4 in a previous episode. I don't know. The uploading. What uploaded first. Whatever. <laughs> there it is. Found it on a video. Video. I don't think this thing has a name. <laughs> yeah, it looks pretty cool. I wasn't too sure if I should have made it. Look, one, two, three. Like another. A third fuel tank here. Or fuse large there than the jet engine. That would have been better with the lift rating, but that this thing would have been even bigger. And you ought to keep away from the lag. As you can see here, I did the uh, two by two. Wait, is that is that two? By, is that it? I don't know. Whatever. Anyway, I have two of these fuels and larges connected. As you can see, corners. No one else does this. I'm not the one who invented this. Someone else figure it out. Yeah. It's easy. You just put a wing. Wing. Duplicate the uh, fuselages and put them on the side, and that does it. Pretty much does it. It's not really good. Now, when I first had to tested this thing out, uh, it was completely a failure. Like, completely failed. I was wondering what happened. I like because I spent a lot of time doing this, and I figured it out that I f I had forgotten to put the uh, control surfaces here. These things, I forgot to put them on this aircraft. So. <laughs> That was a fail. And, you know, as usual, as per usual, just put a lot of struts holding this thing together. It's unnecessary. And just a little tip. And I was using this actually to help me out. If you want to, like, do the, use the, un like, change the underside, like, if you don't want to go like this and change it, you just you know, keep the capsule and click Q. And then you can do everything from underneath, like that, nice and easily. And then when you're done, spacebar puts everything back to to its normal place. So launch. They're gonna test this. Hmm. Alright. Yeah as you can see it's already positioned nicely so it's gonna lift up immediately. And it does have well six engines which is a lot. Lift please. Yeah Who is this new brand? Never heard of it. Never heard of it. Without these struts, yeah, it would have been going so well. This aircraft. And I want to test its gliding, so I'm just going to turn off these engines. Whoa, what was that? Whoa, dang! Bad gliding. Doesn't glide. Don't even tempt it. Whoa! No, this isn't too good. Alright, so. Turning time. You wrote idea, T. E, E, A, A, dot, what, what's that, not? that's an S, yep, I'm clicking S, holding down S, yep, oh, ah, la, la, la. nice, 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 and the new update for KSV, I want more engines, and I want, you know how you can, like, create flying machines and stuff, I want something that will enable you to create a boat, seriously, a boat, I've made a a boat before out of aircraft parts uh, it didn't go very fast it was about 7 meters per second I couldn't lift it up at all because and I'll tell you how, how it actually floated it floats because of the empty jet fuselages you know the empty ones like I think this one here this one is a fuselage with fuel this is the empty the empty fuselages are pretty much I think the only things that can float in the ocean Ex Including the capsule, it's something else. I'm not sure what it is. Yeah, it's one of the things that can float. And I actually made an aircraft that had to fly from here, from the runway, land into the water using parachutes, and then I started up. I uh, put the the engine to, or the jet to full throttle. Yeah, yeah it still didn't go that fast. And these legs are weird. What is that? Is that a dog? The pattern. Look at that. That's a head. That's the... Okay, dogs don't have that sort of thing. <laughs> Ooh, what's down there? Uh, 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 uh. Oh, you can still go over it. 
Nah, I still know about that. So even if you pause, you can still go. So that's old style Mark One the Breeze. Oh, what was that? Oh, that's the uh, from my other episode. Yeah. All right. Nice, nice. So right now I'm trying to get 700 meters per second. I think it was with this aircraft that I did so. And it was good. It was going quite well, very fast. You do have to be careful with lifting up this aircraft, and I do have caps lock on right now, so that helps. Now we should start falling. Uh, let me help it out with that. Yeah, that's it. Stay there. That. The main thing that you want is the aircraft to start falling, but not into the thick part of the atmosphere because if it does it will slow down rapidly so 650 meters per second not bad not bad for a design like this I mean if you have an aircraft that can go uh, 600 plus at this height in altitude so about there then it's a very good aircraft but you know as long as it has enough fuel to last because look how many fuel tanks I have here we have how much so we've used up kind of a this how many do we have okay so we have these jet fuel tanks here and then we have rocket fuel tanks and the rocket fuel tanks last a lot longer than the jet fuel tanks so if you're gonna go far then you know, use the rocket fuel tanks highly advise you to do so okay. and uh, another s update I went to Duna again. Well, like, if you guys watched my Duna episode, where I created a orbit around Moho, um, I actually I, I started using some cheats afterwards to actually land on the planet because you can't do it without cheats. Like, you cannot land on the planet without cheats. And I tried. It took me a couple out. I think an hour or two, something like that. It took me a while to actually do that. And what's going on? Are we going up still? Ah, uh, yes. We need to point the nose down a bit. Yeah. So, I use cheats, and if you guys. Yeah, let's pause this and have a look, Kimmy. Okay, it's still gonna go on. It's okay. We didn't have to look at it. Do something else for today. <laughs> if you have a look here, if I can zoom in, I'll show you guys now. Where is it? That thing. See that? Does it show? Oh, I just showed something. Didn't it? What was it showing that? Anyway, I landed on the planet. And I, I went right into that hole. Like, right in the middle. Because I was, I was expecting that there'd be an Easter egg there. And I don't think anyone else had actually ever been there. So I was pretty excited. Actually do that. Ah, oh my gosh. How can I get on that? Here it is. 700 meters per second. See, you don't have to look after this aircraft. <laughs> you can go do something else. Oh, uh, 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 oh, shit. Hey, thank you, SAS. If they did not have SAS in, the, in this aircraft, on this game, we'd be so screwed. Oh, great. Yeah, I'm screwed now. Uh, 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 no, 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 no. No. No, no, no. Oh my gosh. Man, I've got caps lock on. Help me out here. T. <laughs> One button and it screws up. Press. What's a you. Stay there. Stay there. Go back down. Thank you. Whatever. It's on an angle. I do care, but I'm a bit paranoid here. But with Moho, that thing, the crater that I just showed you guys, I actually went inside. And it was a bit weird because my camera, like the viewing, like see how we can move around in the camera. This this is our camera. If you, when I went right into the middle of the hole, I couldn't I couldn't move like that. I couldn't see any. I couldn't see the atmosphere. I couldn't do anything else. I could move this this much, all around, but I couldn't look up into the atmosphere. It's a bit weird, confusing. And also, I crash landed and my. Whatever character, whatever character I had, he he crashed into the ground, but then we still have fuel. And then he started flying up into the atmosphere, really high and fast. 
put the iron mohawk very fast. I might show that. Yeah, I'll probably just show that in a video. Number one piece of advice don't go to Moho. It's like the worst planet. It's the worst moon, really. It's pretty much a moon. No atmosphere. I couldn't. I even had. I tried to deploy a parachute on Moho, too. Nothing. No atmosphere. Failure. Hate failure. Bad. Bad, 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 bad. Woo, this thing's still going. Thank you. No point, no nose down. Nose down. Ding, ding, ding. Go faster than that, please. Ah, put the nose even more down. Here we go. Now we're falling. And let's right click the engines. Have it. Mm, the halfway from the optimal airflow. But that will increase now since we're going down, as you can see up here. Ooh, think we're going to get 800 meters per second? I think so. Probably. Probably, probably. I don't know. Maybe. It all depends on Newbrit. Newbrit's uh, feelings toward this aircraft. <laughs> if you lost the aircraft, it will go faster. No, it's not going. It's slowing down. Great. Eh, not good. Not good. Okay, we're just going to check around now. Let's test this thing out. Whoa. Whoa. No, 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 no. Okay, that was expected. So now we pretty much have to go to uh, 100 meters per second to stop this thing. See how it spazzes out. So now it looks like it's trying to go that way. Or oh, another way now. Whatever. We're taking out new boat. Uh, okay, IVF first. Check it out. Does that give you a headache? Me, we die. No. <laughs> hey, would they need flashing lights in this thing? You know how if you crash, there's always flashing lights? Yeah, they, they should have flashing lights. Like there, there. Wait, can I take this guy out? Yep. Here we go. Animation. Where is he? There he is. <laughs> He's got a long way to fall. Yeah, these guys survive almost everything. They need a parachute. Please, squad. Put it in a freaking parachute. Come on. If these guys had a parachute. That would be so awesome. And put the parachute on their heads. That would be so funny. Not in the back. On their heads. Parachute there. Because they have a big head. Okay, he died. That, that was expected. Now, where's the, the ship? There, we, there it is. There it is. Here we go. Here we go. No, we can't control this. At least uh, crashing into the ocean isn't as bad as crashing into the ground. It's not that bad. So that's good. Hmm. Anyway, hope you liked the episode. That was an interesting aircraft. I certainly do like it. The controlling of it could be improved. I do think it does have some things that can be improved on. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day.